I'm back with another whiskey to try. This one is Macaroni's and Abba. I'm going to open up the box and give you a look at the bottle. This is the bottle of Macaroni and Abba. And what does it say on here? It says, Signature Selection and Abba. Canadian peated single malt whiskey. Carefully crafted in premium Kentucky bourbon, Spanish Oloroso, Portuguese red wine, Spanish Pedro Jimenez, and Virgin American casks. 46% alcohol by volume. PPM scale 11, that's parts per million, 11, that's batch number two. Bottle number 166 out of 205, bottled on 0623. And I purchased this in June of 2023. Uh, hopefully that shows there somewhere. June of 2023 and uh, it's 129.99 plus uh, almost $20 so it's in the $150 ballpark it's uh, for two bottles it's $298.98 so almost $300 for two bottles so almost $150 for one bottle yeah, so I bought this as soon as it was announced online and as soon as it was uh, available at the distillery where I picked it up. History and tradition. Inspired by the native Scotland, this Lochaber and Isla ancestors the ancient Irish roots are master whiskey maker Dr. Graham McElhone has created a unique range of whiskeys distilleries classic single malt with which whiskeys evoke fond memories of his youth the peated single malt whiskeys uniquely peat smoked at our distillery Harold triple distilled single pot still whiskeys give tribute to his Antrim and ancient 7th century Leinster Irish roots. An Abba, the Abbot. Our whiskey makers ancestors came from a Gaelic learned family at the hereditary ecclesiastics spanning 700 years and included um, princes, royal abbots, archbishops, and even saints in the ancient Celtic church. In these those days, princes and abbots enjoyed the finer things in life brought all the way from the Mediterranean and Middle East as each as such our Anaba single malt whiskey celebrates the hereditary abbot's enjoyment of the finest traditional whiskies lightly peat smoked using local peat and barley and matured in oak casks including Oloroso and Pedro Jimenez from Spain and wine from Portugal and white oak from the Americas why not treat yourself or a friend to this abbot's dram? Ooh, okay. There's a whole bunch of other writing on here. Um, I don't have time to read all that. There's another bunch of stuff to read here. But it's on the box. The box will be on the wall. You want to read what's on there, come and visit me. And it will be there. All right, I've gone on long enough with all that. 
initial stuff. And I told you how much it cost. Yeah, $150 ballpark. Where is the opening thing? Oh, here it is. I, I believe I found it. I can peel this off and, and just peel that and peel it some more and grab the whole foil right off of there. And now to open this special drum, ah, composite cork, sawdust and glue. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, here we are with this uh, an Abba. At least I can pronounce that. I can pronounce an Abba. <laughs> there are some of those from Macaroni's that I can't pronounce. They're just they're just Kirk and Riola, you know. Now here we go. We've got uh, oh, rapid sheeting action. Rapid sheeting action, and very tiny trails, uh, trails of very tiny droplets coming down. And this was a clean glass when I started. Okay. I'm getting a generic single malt kind of nose. I'm getting elements of fruits, dark ripe fruits, some dried fruits, fruits, and a little bit of peat smoke, but not much, it's just light. This I think is trying to be a North, North American version of Highland Park, where Highland Park has a little bit of everything. It has some sherry cask influence. It has a little bit of peat. It has a little bit of everything. And this looks to be the North American or Canadian version of a whiskey that has a little bit of everything for everybody. But maybe I wouldn't recommend you try this if you're a beginner. But I haven't tasted it yet, so I'll get there real soon. Yeah. Getting a bit of peat smoke, a little bit of fruits, dark fruits, dried fruits, ripe fruits. A little bit of uh, maltiness along with the light peat smoke. And I'm getting something else too. It's like mm, a little bit of a honey note too. And some oak tannins from those those casks the virgin oak casks mm. this is a complex nose well it proves to be a complex nose considering what kind of wood has been used to make it happen 
brilliant nose, a little bit of everything. Now I'm going to taste it. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. There's a lot going on in this glass. There's a lot going on. I'm getting spicy. I'm getting fruity. I'm getting smoky. Nothing really stands out. It's a little bit of everything. It's 46% alcohol by volume, which is just about perfect drinking strength. You know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Just about every expression from Macaloni's is better than the last one that I've had. Am I biased? Yeah. Not only is this from the nearest distillery to where I live, but every time Dr. Graham Macaloni flexes his muscles, he puts out a wonderful whiskey. This one is no exception. I'm still getting a little bit of the spice on my palate after having had some water. Let's do this again now that I've been primed. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, I'm getting the Spanish wine. I'm getting the Oloroso. I'm getting the Pedro Jimenez. I'm getting some smoke, some Heated barley. I'm getting the spices from the virgin American oak casks. My word, this is good. Oh, what a wonderful, flavorful, amazing whiskey! Dr. Macaloni, I salute you in making a superior Canadian single malt. And I didn't think I would be saying that. But this Ann Abba is a luxurious whiskey. Oh. And I have been very lucky in being able to get a bottle of this. Oh, there's so many things going on. There's honey. There's peat smoke. There is dark fruits, dried fruits. <clears throat> honey. Oh. This is the best I've had so far from Macaloni's. And I've still got three more bottles of Macaloni's that I haven't tried. 
Three of them right there on my bar. Because every time that Macaroni's releases something, I get the email. And as soon as I get the email, I place an order. And as soon as I find within a week that it's ready, I'm at the distillery to pick up my bottles. I know it's Canadian whiskey. And I know that the Scotch Whiskey Society or Scotch Whiskey Association has had their bones to pick with Dr. Macaloni in the past. I'm not going to say cheers. I'm going to say slunchava because this whiskey deserves it all the way. Slunchava. Food quick. 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 Food quick.